this is Kwabi from Kwabi.com and you're watching Kwabi TV. Today I'm going to be talking about apple cider vinegar. Yes, I'm about you, but I get so many messages in my inbox talking about the miraculous benefits of drinking apple cider vinegar. And you might be curious and wondering, are those benefits really true? Does it really work? What it's all about? Well, apple cider vinegar is really mainly apple and they've added yeast to it. And I know, don't know if you've noticed, there's also something on the bottle, at least this particular brand, that says with the mother. And with the mother, all that means is they've added some friendly enzymes, bacteria, and it gives it that murky color that you can kind of see, so it's not clear. Because if you purchase regular side apple cider vinegar, it's normally clear, like the pure one. This has the mother in it because it has those friendly bacteria. And the friendly bacteria that we talk about in here is similar to what is used for kombucha making. If you're familiar with that, they call it a scooby, which has all the bacteria and that's what they use, they start the kombucha making from. So Hippocrates, many, many years ago, we know Hippocrates as the father of modern medicine, he used that, you know, a lot in his work. And today, it's being touted as the next best thing. So let me break it down for you and tell you exactly what the benefits are and you can make an informed decision on whether you want to use apple cider vinegar in your diet or not. The first thing is people who like talk about it for weight loss. Well, there was some research done by some Japanese scientists that showed that it did help with some obese patients with weight loss. But then when they actually looked at the value or rather the amount of weight that they had lost, it's not particularly this. You could lose that amount of weight doing something else and the weight that they lost was not very significant. It was rather a slow process. Which meant that it could have been a number of different things that have caused that could have caused the weight loss in those patients. So if you are thinking about it for weight loss, which I'll be honest with you, probably 80% of the emails I get that talk about apple cider vinegar, talk about the weight loss benefits. If you're doing it for that, I don't know. I don't think it's the best option. Now it does contain some polyphenols which have been known to curb cell damage for diseases like cancer, but it has not been proven yet that vinegar particular in particular does that. I'm gonna tell you some of the benefits that I have derived from apple cider vinegar. One is my sleep. I like to drink apple cider vinegar, put it in water just before bedtime. I actually call it my, that's my, like my nightcap. Apple cider vinegar with warm water, a little bit of honey, and that's it for me. And whenever I drink it, most times when I drink, I really sleep really well. Now, what are some of the drawbacks? You really have to be cautious when you drink this. If you're gonna be drinking it regularly, it's advised you need to be careful because it can cause tooth damage. Yes, it can damage your teeth. And it's also been uh, noticed that if you drink so much of this, it's possible that it can lower your potassium levels. So you don't want that. If you take it very often, it can affect the medications that you need for diabetes and for your heart, so for heart disease. So maybe not a great idea if you're taking it a lot. But I also want to demonstrate how to drink. If you do decide that you want to drink it, caution here, it doesn't taste very nice. It's a taste that you have to, I guess, an acquired taste, taste that you get used to. And for some, they don't want to get used to it at all. But I'm going to demonstrate to you how I use it and how you can make it if you want to just kind of try it out. So this is how I make my apple cider vinegar as a nightcap. I put about a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Now, if you're just starting out, I would recommend you use about a teaspoon to begin with. And then I also add a tablespoon of honey. And I'm using raw honey, but you don't have to use raw honey. Use whatever honey you have at home. And then I add the hot water, but I typically do not fill up the cup with hot water. I get it to about half of the cup level. And then I add room temperature water as well. And then I mix and serve. The reason why I use the room temperature water is I like to drink my hot drinks right away, especially if I'm going to bed. I don't want to wait for it to cool down. I just want to drink it and go. And that's how I make my nightcap that consists of apple cider vinegar. I hope you enjoyed that segment of Quavi TV. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to Quavi TV on YouTube. Also, feel free to visit me on www.quavi.com for more health tips. And always remember, when it comes to a healthy lifestyle, you deserve it, 
you need it, and yes, you are worth it. Bye.